Okay, just stepped inside the door into the foyer. I don't know if the smoke is going to show up. This is after a supposed cleaning, but um, before the actual construction takes place. You can see the smoke and heat damage on the brick wall, the faux brick wall. And we will be doing something different there, and I don't really know what yet. But, okay, walking through to go into what I call the guest end, since uh, this was when I was going to do a bed and breakfast, this would have been the two guest bedrooms. And there's Kendall helping with the inspection. This room got primarily smoke damage because the door was closed. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. You can see cracks here which were not here before. I had repaired any cracks that there were in the floor. But after the fire and all the heat, there are many, 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 many more. have no idea what we're going to do about that. The doors that I never got around to distressing before that are still in their original distress, one of which got thrown away by the previous contractor. This room, too, only got some smoke damage. Oh, I just noticed they took the, it had stained glass film on there. They took it off. There is my wonderful shower, which did not get damaged. And this last room is quite dark. I don't know how well it will show up. We'll see. Yep, it's not going to. Well, there we come a little bit. You can see that the cleaning in here um, of the smoke damage was a little lacking, we'll say. This was the laundry room. It also just got some smoke damage. And I don't know if the refrigerator was too big to fit through the door or why they didn't move it out, but it is full of extremely disgusting stuff. Okay, walking back through. Stepping up into the living room. They still have not taken out this vinyl flooring, even though it stood in two inches of water for almost a week, and I'm fairly certain has a lot of mildew underneath it, that was not in their, quote, cleanup. The doors have to be replaced because what you're seeing there is between the windows. At least they didn't spend too much time cleaning them when they were going to have to be torn out, which is not true from much of the other house, rest of the house. Obviously, this room has been dismantled. Nobody bothered to cover the window that was broken so badly, which I think was remiss. Uh, I'm standing now where the wall was between the living room and dining room, looking into the dining room. Point of origin of the fire was in that corner. 
Moving into the kitchen. The refrigerator will be straight ahead. This room got a lot of heat as well as the smoke. You can tell by the melted ceiling fan. Everything in here has to be torn off and replaced. Now we're going through the doorway into the little hallway that leads back to the what I call the master end of the house. An outside door leading out onto a porch. Now for some reason they supposedly scrubbed this room down, even though it was already in the books to be torn off. So I'm not sure what their reasoning was there. Uh, lots and lots and lots of damage in here. Windows have to be replaced. That's the door into the dining room. On the left is a guest bath. And the guest bedroom, which has supposedly been cleaned. And no, the black stuff doesn't come off on you, but it still concerns me that that's carbon and it is still there. Jury is still out on what will be done to it. I'm scanning around the room. You see my porta toilet in the front yard. And you can see the pond down there in the highway. Wish it wasn't so close to the highway, but. I don't really hear the traffic noise, especially after being subjected to the train so close for five months. This was in the guest bath. It's going into the master bathroom now. I've carried this sink around with me for 30 years, and this was the first time I had installed it, and we see how that worked out. So, come on, Kendall. Kendall, get out of there. The master bedroom. Again, it too has been cleaned. That was a white ceiling, by the way. Yes, yeah, say hi, Kendall. Say hello. My closet which used to seem big, and now doesn't. <laughs> and the master bathroom, which they tore out the vanity for no reason at all. It was still in perfect condition, and threw away the door that was here. So, not sure what that was about. Anyway, that's the newest, latest walkthrough.